The goal of templates is to fill in information on documents that will always repeat, no matter how many times you use that same document. This will prevent you from having to fill in that same information over and over again each time you use that document. All right, so you're going to go to DocuSign and log in. If by chance you come to this screen, just click your name initials at the top right and select Switch to Rooms. Now you might log in and automatically come to this screen, but just in case you end up ever over there, that's where you're going to switch to Rooms. Okay, to get to the templates, we're going to select My Docs, and then we're going to go to Form Templates, and we're going to create Form Templates. Once you select Create Form Template, you're going to go to the bottom one here that says Select Library, and you're going to go to TXR. There are five documents you're going to want to create templates for. Now we need the brokered services, there's two of them. So information about brokered services buying, we'll use that one. So you'll fill this document out to obtain the information in your IABS. So what I typically do in Google, search for your name and the words H-A-R, and it's typically the first link that shows up. When you click it, you can scroll down, and then you'll find a link to it right here. And once this loads, you have all the adequate information that you'll need to fill out the form. So literally everything you need is here. Create form template to get to the second one, TXR. This time we're going to do listing. And of course you fill this document out just like you filled out the previous information about brokerage services. Create form template. Texas Association of Realtors. Now we need the listing agreement. Exclusive right to sell. It's going to be one of these. I'm going to just guess this one. Perfect. Okay. Because there's another one that says exclusive right to lease. You want the one that says exclusive right to sell. So when it comes to the exclusive right to sell template, the things that will remain the same are the broker information. So you're going to want to fill, fill out this broker information. In this case, it's going to be Keller Williams Signature. Fill in the address, state, zip code. This information is going to change each time. So um, typically, the homes are listed in a uh, mandatory membership property owners association. So I, I usually select that. Um, this will always change per client. Same with the price. However, this right here for um, professional fee, 6%, I would type that in and leave that be. That's always probably going to repeat. Protection period, usually zero days. County, if you're doing this for Keller Williams Signature, then you're going to type in Harris here. However, wherever county your broker's located in, uh, that's what goes here, and that's always going to be the case. Typically, I'll select this box and this box, meaning it will go on the MLS, and I'm going to do it within five days of this agreement being signed. You can always change this later if anything changes with a specific client. These are things that are typically going to repeat. Scheduling companies showing time or you can leave that blank it just depends on on what um, subscription you have here in Keller Williams signature we use showing time for our scheduling companies broker is authorized to place a key box I usually this is three one 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 for more clarity on what this is contact your risk management officer in our case it's Marilyn O'Neill all right intermediary status I'll select that as well and I would probably always have these selected on my listing agreements, just those five. Um, in A's on these. Now, of course, if any of this does change per your client, then you're gonna wanna fill those boxes in. A, and then seller's disclosures typically attached, and so is the MUD disclosures typically attached. Again, oh, and IABS as well. Um, you can always, always deselect these whenever you have a live client, if none of those apply. And then paragraph I, a seller is not a foreign person, typically. All right, then the license number of the broker, and then broker associate signature, and then your name here. All right, and I would save that and leave that as is.
All right, create form template. Let's go grab the buyer representation agreement that's going to be here in TXR. We're going to call this representation. And there it is, buyer tenant representation agreement and use. Okay, again, broker information. It's always going to be the same. Uh, our address is 920 South Fry, Katy, Texas, 7740. Phone number 281-599-766. So obviously you're going to do this for your own broker um, signature. You're going to do this for your own broker's information. Now market areas, these must be counties in which you will typically be serving. So, uh, and the word county must be there. So Harris County, Fort Bend County. Again, this is if you're working at the KW Signature Office. If you're working in another city, then you're going to want to change this information. You're not going to want to put this verbatim here. But for us, Harris County, Fort Bend County, um, Montgomery County. Uh, we do business personally up in Huntsville. So San Jacinto County. Um, of course, you're going to have Brazoria County. If you're servicing Pearland, Galveston County, if you're out there in Clear Lake City. I feel like I'm missing one or two. But anyways, let's move on. All right, term, that's always going to change per your client, so I leave that alone. I select intermediary status. Again, if you're unclear what these terms are and you want further explanation, reach out to your risk management officer. In our case, it's Marilyn O'Neill if you want this explained, or you can read the language here. It's it's pretty uh, helpful whenever you read the document. It'll pretty much tell you what all that means. Commission, 3% always. And if they decide to lease the property, I place this checkbox here and I'll do 50%. And A on any of these blanks. I usually don't have a protection period. But again, this is going to be that um, county in which your broker is listed in. So I'm putting Harris there. Okay, scroll down, type in the license number, broker associate, and then your name goes here. And that's it. All right, so we're going to get the one to four family residential contract. And the reason being is there's quite a bit of data on the very bottom of this form. Type in one to four, there it is. This is the document you're typically gonna use when you're submitting an offer on a property. Now on the very bottom, there's some fields there that you're gonna to wanna to fill out. That way you don't have to do it every time. Everything else you leave alone. It's only on the very bottom here where you're gonna type in uh, your, your broker's name, their license number, buyer only as buyer's agent. This is so you don't have to do this every time you're submitting an offer. Associate's name, that's gonna be you and then your license number, team name if you have one, your email address here, your phone number here. And then this is gonna typically be your team leader and then their license number okay, and her license number is this, cool. And then 920 South Fry, um, phone number is gonna be 281-599-7600. This is, of course, where your broker is located. All right, and everything else you leave the same, but scroll down here and type in 3%. That way you make sure you're compensated 3%. And that's it. So once you have your templates filled out, um, this is how it best applies whenever you're actually working a transaction. So we're gonna pretend like we're in a DocuSign room. There's a test. Go to Documents. And so, for example, say you load in your documents and you want to use a template. You're going to right click and apply form template. Select it, apply. Uh, listing agreement, same thing. Right click and apply form template. And this is what it looks like. So, you say, for example, you have an actual client and you just select the, after you've applied the template, you can open it up. And a lot of the things have already been filled out for you. So there it is. That's the information you entered earlier. And then you can begin to type in the actual information for the client. If you notice, look, that's already there. The 6% is already there. Harris is already there. That's already there. So that, that's the advantage. And you're just going to go through here now and just type in the things that need to be typed in, like the price, for example and uh, the legal description, right? Those kinds of things. All right, save and close. And that's the advantage of working with templates. And that's it.